Hello, I'm Anthony Gismondi, and we're following a year in the life of a BC wine grower. Each season, we look in on four wine growers around the province to experience some of the typical seasonal tasks and learn why and when they are done. Our second stop is at the southernmost end of the Naramata Bench, at a boutique winery run by a winemaking couple with roots in Bordeaux and Burgundy. Penelope Roche is in the vineyard, and Dylan Roche takes us inside a mobile bottling plant that's on site today. And we are in our Chardonnay block, which was planted in 2017, and we are about five to six weeks uh, of harvesting here. And uh, then, basically, all the vineyard operation, uh, like vineyard tasks, uh, are done. Uh, but now at this time of year, we love to just kind of arrange the canopy and remove some laterals and remove a little bit uh, of leaves, not too much. And that's the canopy. The canopy are basically the, the leaf uh, wall. Uh, and then shoot positioning consists in um, filling the holes in the canopy, you see. Uh, then it's just to not lose any space and enhance the airflow in the canopy. Sometimes uh, the shoots are tangled, then I try to untangle them for them to be straight and to kind of have a chance to be um, just, yeah, very... that the tendrils are begin to lignify, which means they are turning brown and they are turning to be pretty tough to move now. And it's like looking at um, a line where you put your laundry on, you know, all the socks well aligned. It should look like that at the end of your task. Then now we'll talk about um, just, you know, like kind of um, making the fruit zone a little bit more visible, uh, but not too much because there is a lot of places everywhere in the world that like usually strip the whole fruit zone. And at Roche, uh, we try to not do that because our style of wine, we love freshness, we love well-balanced wine, and we love to keep some acidity, then we try to not expose the fruit too much. Just a little bit, then I will show you how we usually do that. There, there is laterals, right? It's, it's just a, another uh, bud on the shoot that's coming out usually. Then we try to remove a little bit of them. And you know, I try to not think too much when I do that. I, I basically do like, like almost like a, you know, like a random. The, the goal is to not stop, right? <laughs> then you see how it looks? Then, because it's like every leaf is, is a solar panel, right? And that's like a sugar factory. Then if you remove too, ma too many leaves, you kind of lose your sugar factory. One of the other things we uh, are looking after in the summer is just bottling. Uh, we do that a couple times a year. It really isn't justified for us to have our own bottling line. Uh, it's um, much better option for us to use uh, a mobile bottling unit like this. It allows us to use a larger bottling line and, uh, with professional operators who really know the, uh, know the machine and get our wine through in the best condition possible. And so we, we do it about twice a year. Uh, the, the summer timing uh, gives us the time we need for the whites from last year to spend the time they need in, in the barrel. Uh, racking clarification and then ready for bottling. And we're also bottling uh, in this session the uh, Bordeaux blends reds from 2019. We've been between 12 and 18 months in there. The wines we're bottling uh, this week uh, will actually be laid down uh, for between 8 months and 14 months. So they're, they're destined for, for future release. They get a bit of time to, to settle before, before they're in the, in the rotation. And, uh, so it, it, it also gives us a chance to empty out our tanks and prepare for the harvest, which is uh, unbelievably uh, coming up in about six weeks. There's not a lot of downtime and with a hot, dry summer, it's likely BC wine growers will have to harvest earlier than usual, perhaps by as much as several weeks.